Hi, this is me, and I just finished my first year of architecture at PUP Santa Mesa. I am Michael John Landoy from BS Architecture 1.5, and welcome to the first episode of my Architecture series. For today's episode, gusto kong i-share sa inyo ang aking architectural plates from Visual Techniques 2. Para sa mga future RT na nanonood, ang visual techniques ay isang subject that aims to develop students' visual perception, serving as a formal introduction to monochromatic and colored rendering. In this subject, we are specifically instructed to use watercolor as our main medium, which is kinoconsider ko as the hardest medium kasi wala talaga akong background sa watercolor. Without further ado, let's begin! First, we have our formative test. I chose SM Taytay as my subject kasi nearest landmark near my area ang instruction sa amin dito. I've used both alcohol markers and watercolor for this plate since any rendering materials kami dito. Ahem, SM baka naman. Moving on, we have our diagnostic test. It is a monochromatic pencil rendering ng isang interior area sa aming bahay. Pinili ko na dito yung pinaka-pwesto ko and gumamit ako ng one-point perspective since eskis lang siya. And alam mo naman, pag eskis, limited time lang. Exercise plate number one, flat and glazed wash. This plate is way, way, way harder than it looks. As in, ito ang sisira sa buhay mo, promise. Super hirap na maka-achieve ng perfect flat wash tapos ang laki pa ng area. Exercise plate number 2, graded wash. So, pinalitan na ni sir yung size ng papel since exercise nga lang siya and masyadong magastos kung 12 by 18 pa rin yung size. For this plate, inapply namin yung wet on dry and wet on wet techniques. Mahirap siyang i-achieve pero proud naman ako sa kinalabasan dahil smooth yung gradient niya. Exercise plate number 3, isa pa tong pahirap sa buhay. Ang bilis niya kasing maka-absorb ng tubig kaya ang hirap i-achieve ng super linis na transition ng colors. Major plate number one, wash techniques. Ito na yung compilation ng tatlong exercises and may kita mo talaga yung improvement sa gawa ko. Tulad nga na sinasabi nila, practice makes perfect. Major plate number two, color wheel. I am really proud sa kinalabasan nitong plate kahit na medyo matagal siya gawin. Yung concept ko for my color wheel is D12 Zodiac Signs. Yung pinilit ko talagang maging malinis yung final output. Major plate number 3, Chinese Painting. At first mukha siyang madali kasi monochrome lang. Black and white. Kaso marirealize mo na super hirap pala kapag ina-apply mo na. Need mo kasi makuha yung aesthetics of an oriental painting and sa tingin ko nakuha ko naman. Kayo ba, what do you think? Exercise plate number 4, Color Swatches. Isa ulit to sa pinaka may hirap na gawin since need mo ma-achieve yung dark to light in every color. Dapat magaling ka mag-balance ng kulay at maingat ka sa pag-apply ng watercolor. Midterm plate. I am really happy with how it turned out considering na during synchronous session lang siya pwedeng gawin which means super limited lang ang time mo. Medyo nanginginig pa nga yung kamay ko habang ginagawa ko to kasi as I said earlier, super hirap i-achieve ng perfect wash technique. Exercise plate number 5, Marble Texture. Wala akong masyadong masasabi dito, basta ang alam ko, maganda siya para sa akin. Major plate number 4, Textures in Color. Nakaka-proud yung gawa ko dito, lalo na yung wood and marble part, kasi mukha talaga siyang totoo. Medyo nahirapan lang ako sa part ng skyscape and glass, pero overall maganda naman yung kinalabasan. Exercise plate number 6, Still Life. Actually, this is my second attempt for this exercise kasi hindi ko nagustuhan yung una kong gawa na ang subject ay jar. Thankfully, it was really worth it. Probably my best exercise plate in this subject. Major plate number 5, Atmospheric Rendering. 
Nahirapan talaga ako sa plate nito kasi napakahina ako pagdating sa repetition. And yun nga, dun sa top, middle, and bottom, kailangan pare-parehas ng subject and ang mag-iiba lang ay yung atmosphere. Pero at the end, maganda pa rin naman ang kinalabasan niya kasi syempre ayoko naman magpasa ng pangit kahit na mahihirapan ako. Exercise plate number 7, Still Life Part 2. This time, furniture naman ng bahay ang aming subject. And ang napili ko ay yung gaming chair ng aking tatay. Sana all, di ba, naka-gaming chair. Predator, baka naman. Major plate number 6, Interior Rendering. Grabe, super proud ulit ako dito sa plate na to kasi tingnan mo naman, di ba? From the perspective, lighting, pati yung detail work ay halatang may effort. Easily one of my favorite plates. Major plate number 7, Landscape Rendering. Huwag nyo akong i-judge dito pero ganyan talaga yung itsura ng area malapit sa amin. Ang subject kasi dito ay landscape within our vicinity and yan lang yung available na landscape sa subdivision namin. Overall, maganda pa rin naman yung kinalabasan, texture, lighting, shadow, but I do believe that I still have a room for improvement. Exercise plate number 8, Exterior Rendering. I really like how this plate turned out. May kita mo talaga yung structure and yung pinakang form niya. Additionally, malinis din siya tingnan and maganda naman yung pagkakalagay ng texture. Last but not the least, final plate for visual techniques, exterior rendering. For this plate, binigyan lang kami ng sketch ng isang bahay and kami na bahala magkulay nun. Dito namin na-apply lahat ng napag-aralan buong sen. From combination of colors, atmospheric rendering, to textures and proper lighting. I am really proud of my final output because I realized how much improvement I have achieved in this subject. That is all for this episode of my Architecture series. I hope that this will serve as an inspiration for the aspiring future architects out there. I myself have little to no background in watercolor but as cheesy as it sounds, you will eventually learn. Once again, this is Michael John Landoy reminding you that improvement is still improvement no matter how big or small your progress is.